Welcome back to Morning Rush. An unprecedented step in California to address the disproportionate number of black missing children and young adults. Starting January 1st, ebony alerts can be issued for missing black youth. While amber alerts in California require that the victim is 17 or younger and is in imminent danger, an ebony alert can be issued for people ages 12 to 25 who could be victim to trafficking or in the company of a potentially dangerous person. Nearly 40% of missing people under 18 are African American, yet black people make up just 13% of the population. So think about that math there. That's according to the Black and Missing Foundation. Natalie Wilson is the co-founder of the Black and Missing Foundation, which works to help families find their loved ones. And she joins us live now to discuss uh, this Ebony Alert system. Thank you so much uh, for the work that you do, as well as joining us here on the show. Uh, how effective are Amber Alerts right now when uh, a black child goes missing? Well, good morning and thank you so much for having me. Um, what we're finding is that oftentimes when children of color are reported missing, they are not getting the Amber Alert um, as they should. And the reason why is many times law enforcement is classifying that child as a runaway. And if you're classified as a runaway, you definitely don't receive the Amber Alert or any type of media coverage at all that can aid in your recovery. And why is that? Why, why are uh, people, uh, children of color being categorized as a runaway as opposed to thinking, um, you know, something nefarious could be happening? Well, it, <clears throat> we are just trying to make sure that our missing children are seen as victims you know right. oftentimes when children of color are reported missing they are adultified and the perception is what has happened to them they brought it on themselves and no these are our valuable daughters and sons and they need to be protected and i am so you know elated for this ebony alert that will work similar to the amber alert to inform the community when someone is missing so I first found out about this when I was scrolling through social media. And of course, you know, you want to take everything that you see on social media with a grain of salt, right? Including, you know, comments. But it was interesting because in the comment section, one of the things that I really noticed, it kind of, because um, when I first saw it, I said, wow, this is great, right? Um, and, and then I was reading the comments. Mm -hmm. I found that there were a lot of people that said, well, wait, if an ebony alert goes out, doesn't that make it so that people could then ignore it because it is a child of color and they may not take it as seriously when you distinguish between the two, you know, when you have an ebony alert and an amber alert? Well, you know, time is of the essence mm -hmm. when someone is reported missing. And with this alert, it encourages television, radio, social media, and other platforms to help spread the word. And we can no longer turn a blind eye to this issue. It is you know, an issue that is affecting our community and we need to raise awareness of missing people of color across the country. Um, and particularly in California, where it ranks in the top 10 cities um, or top 10 states. So we have to do a better job in protecting those that are most vulnerable and sounding the alarm um, to help find and bring them home. After uh, the high-profile missing person case of Gabby Petito uh, back in 2021, there was this massive push to amplify media attention of missing black and Latino uh, people and children in particular. Uh, what factors cause these disparities that we see? Well, what we're finding with media coverage is typically there's no policy in place um, with the news outlets. So if you call an I call, who's making that decision as to who get that coverage? And again, you know, removing the barriers, um, your economic status, your education, your zip code should not be barriers to media coverage and law enforcement resources when you go missing. You know, when we first started the organization, I had a tough time getting the media to cover some of those cases um, mm -hmm. for families who were desperately searching for their missing loved ones. So we hope that with this new alert system, it will raise awareness about the issue and to advocate for policies and procedures. Yeah, uh, that advocating right there on your shirt, hashtag help us find us. I think that is really uh, powerful and really telling. Natalie Wilson, co-founder of the Black and Missing Foundation. Thank you so much for your time uh, and, and the work that you do. You can go to blackandmissinginc.com to report or search for a missing person. Natalie, thank you.